Hello, I'm Sarah Howe, tech support at Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial for how to get up and running with the soft step if you've never used it before. So first you're going to want to go to keithmcmillan.com and go to the soft step tab and to the downloads page where you can complete the registration form and download the latest version of the software. Right now I'm on Windows XP, so I'm going to choose the Windows XP link and save it to my desktop. Extract all the contents of the zip file and put it in my program files folder. So when that's all finished extracting, um, I can then open it up from my program files folder and it's installed. And here is the folder structure of the SoftStep directory. In it you'll find several useful documents and the SoftStep application. So first let's open up the SoftStep MIDI Expander document. Um, if you have a MIDI Expander, then you'll want to take a look at this so that you can see all the different ways uh, to plug it in to your SoftStep. Then let's open up the standalone quick start document. Standalone is the mode in which you would use the soft step without the application open or without the computer. If you're planning on using the soft step in standalone, you'll want to check this document out. Here's another diagram for hooking up the soft step. Here's it connected to the computer through USB and through to the MIDI expander, and here attached to the expression port is an expression pedal and hooked up to the MIDI expander is a guitar effects processor attached to a guitar. Now further down on this document is where you can find the factory default settings explanations of what the scenes that come already on your soft step are programmed to do and what MIDI data they send out. If you're planning on just using these scenes then you really don't need to go any further in this tutorial and the document there should let you know how everything works. Also we have the example demo files and the firmware is located in the firmware folder and this should match up to the firmware you have on your soft step. You'll be able to tell that the soft step is up to date by looking at the version that flashes on the soft step screen when you first plug it into your computer and you can also get that from the soft step website along with some tutorial videos that show you how to install the firmware if you're updating. Also here we have the presets folder. Um, the structure of the presets folder should show a hosted folder and a standalone folder all with different JSON files in there. Now we can go ahead and open up the SoftStep application with the SoftStep connected. Please remember to make sure not to move the SoftStep application out of the SoftStep directory or the presets folder and also make sure that you only have one presets folder in the directory. Okay so the first screen that will pop up is the port warning screen. Be sure to read this carefully so that you know how the MIDI ports work in the soft step application. So after reading that, go ahead and make sure you have the proper port selections made in the main window for the main input and output ports. Select USB audio device for Windows XP and USB audio device 2 for the MIDI expander. Next thing you want to notice is the hosted and standalone buttons up at the top. Now if you do go to standalone mode you'll notice that the download button becomes available but also that some of the other buttons are grayed out. This is because not all of the features are available in standalone mode. Now I'm going to show you a little diagram that basically shows a, a workflow hierarchy of the soft step application shows the scenes and how you've got the library of scenes there and then the set list underneath allows you to choose which scenes you want to put in the set list. The set list is where you select what scenes will be downloaded to your soft step. From there you can select scenes and control all of the 10 key presets that you would make for your scenes. And you would do that by going in here to the modulation windows for each key and setting up what data you want the keys to send out using the six different mod lines. Okay, now how about we select one of the factory presets, uh, say the toggles preset, 
and open up the modulation window for key one and take a look at how the sources foot on are set to CCs and you can change the channel number and select the device outputs. This scene has it outputting to both the soft step expander and SSCOM port one and you can save changes. You can also resave your entire scene and you can opt to save your key presets with the scene and now I can put that toggle scene in the set list with a few other scenes as well. Pressure live and how about the keyboard demo and then those three presets can now be downloaded to my soft step by hitting the download button and once it's finished downloading I will be able to use those scenes without the application running or even disconnect my soft step from the computer. Okay, so that concludes this quick start tutorial demo. Make sure to watch for more on our website. Thanks!